Welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray on ESPN 790 AM. Brought to you proudly by the Tennessee Wildlife and Resources Agency. Hey, good Saturday morning. Welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray. What a treat to get uh, Bill Jordan and his son Tyler of Realtree that Outdoors. That was cool. That was pretty cool, and we've talked enough about Ole Miss, so we're not going to talk about Ole Miss anymore. <laughs> we're going to turn this last two segments over to my sidekick and uh, – a number one partner in outdoors with Larry Ray when it comes to getting fishing guests. And I want to kind of sit back and listen to Ron as he uh, talks to this next guest because I'm kind of fascinated by her career. And I did say her. Uh, We're going to talk to someone that uh, loves bass fishing. And, Ron, I'm going to let you introduce this next guest. Oh, thank you, Larry, and good morning, everybody. Uh, Hey, our next guest is is a person that I met at the uh, Pan Am fishing tournament um in hot springs in yeah. hot springs of yeah. course uh god's yeah. country to you yeah, that's up that's right um yeah here about a month month and a half ago uh-huh. and i was just so blown away to be able to finally meet her i've i've seen her and, and said hi at icast but she is a professional bass fisher person, person. all right and uh she was on the Pan Am U.S. team. I saw her. Uh, yeah. USA team. The winning she team. She also won the ICAST Cup Ladies uh, oh, Division. Did. Oh, Yes, I, absolutely. I didn't know that. Uh, right. uh, down at uh, uh, Orlando, Florida, and that's Michelle Jabala. Michelle, good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Michelle. Okay, Ron has got you kicked off, and I just can't wait for Ron to ask you (laughs) these important questions. And and I'll listen in because I'm really fascinated about your career and and what you're doing. And uh, first of all, I want to congratulate you and the Pan Am team for the effort you did over in my area of the country in Hot Springs. I know that had to be a thrill for you. But uh, talk about it, Ron. Uh, Ask her something. I I want to hear it. Michelle. Yes. You know, you are very, very competitive. You've been in yes. fishing professionally for some number of years. But one of the things that's really important to you is growing the in- fishing industry on the women's yeah, side. Yeah. Talk our list. Yeah. Talk to our listeners about that. Yes. Yeah. So I, I actually came into the sport at an interesting time, um, starting with the FLW tour and as a co-angler yes and they didn't have any high school or college fishing yet so there wasn't really i didn't really have like a straight path of what to do i just kind of wow took random advice and this was about seven or eight years ago um however now uh and with social media again eight years has gone by and because of these teams so many more women girls young girls are able to be a part of an organization right. and fit yes so and it's just it's incredible because people reach out all the time um fathers about their young daughters that they take that they've seen me you know i got one email i'll never forget and he said you know my little girl you don't know me but she saw you practicing in our backyard and she said daddy look at that girl can i do that and he was like of course you can yeah, do that cool and, that it's stuff like that uh it really because you know fishing can be up and down but when you have that kind of an impact and they really find somebody they can relate to that's you know really the gratification at the end of the day yeah and now you just finished with uh fishing the uh, bass open uh i know we know you're traveling are you going to another tournament now so actually yeah i'm just gonna go um do a shoot and fish uh, the St. Lawrence. Okay. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. Great place to go shoot. And, yeah, I can't help myself, but it's beautiful there, and I, I love smallmouth fishing. So, yeah, I am en route there. Um, I did finish up with I, – I just had to fish last minute Lake of the Ozarks because yeah. I had never been there. Um, you know, it's never enough. You're like, the season's over, but wait, one more tournament. So, yeah. Yeah. You know, it was great, though. It was a really cool fishery. I want, I want to ask you how you got into this. I mean, because uh, you, what you grew up in Michigan, is that right? I mean, you, I, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I grew talk, up. In talk Michigan. about talk about how you got into this. Yeah, I mean, this is pretty interesting. So what's 
what's really interesting is I have not always fished. Huh? But I did fish with my family when I was, you know, when we were younger. Yes. And according to the percentages, if you don't fish by the age of 11 or 12 years old, then chances of you ever fishing again in your life are, like, less than 10%. So wow. Anyway, I grew up fishing with my papa and brothers yes. when we were little, though, and that was it. Then I went on, and I was a Michigan State gymnast. I was I got into med school. Fishing was not part of my plan. <laughs> yeah, that's what, I'm, that's what I understand. All right, all right, all right. So how, how did it become part of your plan? So I, you know, I tell people, well, on the way, you go through a lot. Life happens. I have a big family. So I had to take some time off uh, and didn't go to med school. I, I got in, and, but I had to stay back and take care of some things. Uh-huh. And so I turned to the water, yeah. you know, just for fun. Uh-huh. Um, and that, that lasted for about a week before I was on the water every day, oh. every afternoon, watching every show. You know, that was it. Yeah. I, I was like, yeah. so... Somebody at a local tackle shop had noticed me coming in every night, every day, and he said, well, you know, what are you doing? And I'm like, I don't know. I'm just fishing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he, said, he said, well, why don't you try one of these tournaments? They're, uh, if they're family-friendly events, you can uh-huh. just go out and fish. So long story short, it was a uh, the form, uh, Major League Fishing, formerly FLW, but mm-hmm. it was a BFL, so the local on Lake St. Clair. And, yes. and I thought it was a family-friendly thing, right? But I <laughs> showed up with 200 boats, and I'm and it was a storm, and I I, oh. I mean, loved it. I was you loved it. <laughs> I loved it. I got off the water. I was purple. I was so happy. I mean, I just I was ready to go. That was it. I think it, you either know <laughs> this is for me or this is not. Yes. Yeah. So from now, there, I mean. You know, being an athlete, you either, you just, you have that in you, that competitive edge, or you don't, you know? So I kind of just took over from where I used to be. And now your competitive edge is in fishing. Yeah. I mean. Now, uh, moving forward, (laughs) uh, what's next year look like for you? What's up for you? Yeah, next year, I definitely am going to be doing a lot more tournament fishing than I was able to this year. Um, So I'll probably, you know, I haven't decided it'll either be. BASS or some of the MLF um, tournaments. Okay. I don't know which yet. It depends on the schedule. Right. Yeah. And yeah. There's some companies I'm working with um, to do more presenting and educating. That's great. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah. About, talk about talk yeah. about those sponsors that you have already. Well, I have to say that uh, you know Bass Pro Shops. Yes. Yeah. Give yeah. me, me the platform really to do what i'm doing i mean and you run a nitro out. boat too don't you i do a nitro z 21 with the mercury wow. 250 pro xs and i love my boat i'm obsessed with it um okay. and i don't just say that it handles well on the big water yeah. so uh garmin electronics um amazing but yeah. they really did support me and get me on the map which you know i'm i'm forever thankful for that but the bass tank is another uh, yeah. team that they're just incredibly knowledgeable about the technology, you know. That and they rig your boats about. right. Yeah, yeah. They're yeah. really good. I mean, brilliant. So I'm working with them to uh, learn myself, but also to be able to hopefully go out. Um, you know, they sponsor a local team, and there's two girls who are amazing, mm-hmm. and they are winning everything. But just to go and speak to these teams, and so... I, I kind of want to do more of that um, and fit more of that in because it is, like I said, it's so gratifying and it's needed. Yeah, it is, love absolutely. It, so. Yeah, yeah. And, and to be a spokesman, uh, to, to get more women involved and young girls and things along that line. Uh, how was the experience in Hot Springs? I got to ask you that. Oh, it, that was just awesome. <laughs> you know, what those guys do. So, Hot Springs, uh, thank you to visit Hot Springs for hosting. <laughs> The community, the town, I mean, it was like a big party. It and was. Everybody was so accommodating. And it was really, it's really something to have that experience and see the countries come in and what they go through to get there. Um, yeah, yeah. It just, it was, it was really awesome. Well, I think, uh, I think it's great uh, that you're able to, uh, to do this. And now we've got your number and uh, we'll, we'll get your email right before long. 
and everything, <laughs> Michelle. But uh, I want to thank you for being with us on Outdoors with Larry Ray this week. And just week. one and, last thing, Larry. Yeah, tell her. Hey, if yeah. somebody wants yeah, to follow you, you go, Ron. How, uh, they get how do they follow you yeah. on social media? Yes. So you can follow me at Michelle Chalaba Fishing, and that's um, Facebook or Instagram. And, like, they can message me, and I have a lot of family, parents, and anglers that message me direct, uh, advice or what need be, and I will follow up with them always. Well, we appreciate it. Thank you for everything, and we got you now. We're going to be following you, folks, okay? You, Thank you. You'll be back. All right, Michelle. Thank have you. a great day. Thank you. You too. All Thank right. You. All right, Michelle, uh, jo- how would you pronounce her last Jabala. name? Jabala. Jabala. Well, I'm going to remember that name for sure. And uh, we have Shelby. Uh, I want to close this segment. Pull out that trumpet over there, Shelby. It's time, okay? What do you want to hear, Ron? What do you want to do? Hey, uh, you know, I did go to Memphis State. I know you did. You played the saxophone. Yep, and uh, the fight song is one of the best. I don't think Michelle will mind if we use part of her time for the Memphis Absolutely. University. Absolutely. Uh, can you, you know that song? Shelby. <laughs> yeah. There you yeah, go. There you All go. Right. Oh, I That's, tell you. All right, you, Shelby. You know, and Larry, you've heard that song. I've heard that song. Or the before. fight song a yes, lot I of have. times. Yes, yeah. I have. And she's going to do another one for this show because she's going to do All my right. song at the end. I'm All saving right. that for her. Are what, you which one is that? At the end. You know what it is. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's not smoke on the water. No, but it, well, we could do that. Let's take a break on Outdoors with Larry Ray. Another Ron Wong guest that uh, has another name that I can't pronounce. I think Ron gets these guests so I can't pronounce them, but we'll, we'll be right back. 